Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook, but 10 seconds before we get started, I made this video to help you, so please help me if it helps you. It only takes a second or two. It's a great help if you subscribe, like, and or leave a comment down below. That's it. Let's get started. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to determine whether or not you have a VTEC engine in your Honda or Acura. Okay guys, now this is a Honda engine, and on some Honda engines, the valve cover will actually say VTEC on it if it's a VTEC engine. But in other cases, like this one, it just says Honda on it, and it doesn't tell you whether or not it's VTEC. But this is a VTEC engine. It's not the standard, um, I guess, performance VTEC engine, but it's the VTEC E. And there's actually three kinds of VTEC. There's uh, the standard VTEC, the VTEC E, or economy version of VTEC. And then there's also iVTEC, which is the intelligent VTEC. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you a description of each of those. Um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can determine whether or not the engine is VTEC. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be looking for is a VTEC solenoid. If the car does have a VTEC solenoid, then it's VTEC. And if it does not have a VTEC solenoid, then it's not VTEC. That makes sense, right? Okay, so what does the VTEC solenoid look like? So, we're going to come over here, and that is a VTEC solenoid right there. It's got a single wire coming off it, and it looks something like that. Now, on the newer models, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this so easily, but on this particular model, it comes right off here, and it's right off there to the side. Now, there's also something that looks very similar to this. It'll have two little cylinders on top of it, side by side, and it'll be down here. If you have an automatic transmission, it'll be somewhere down over there, and that will be your automatic transmission solenoid. It'll be your shift solenoid. So, if you have one of those, that doesn't mean you have VTEC, but if you have something that looks just like that, then your car does indeed have VTEC. Okay guys, so what is VTEC? What does it do? What does the VTEC solenoid do? I'm going to answer this question very briefly because I'm actually going to make a video entitled, What is VTEC? And that's going to go over basically the three different kinds of VTEC and it'll go really in-depth on what it does and I'll have pictures and all that cool stuff. So. Basically, I'll start out with uh, VTEC. What does it stand for? It's Valve Timing Electronically Controlled. And what is, how does it do that? There's a VTEC solenoid, which basically it monitors the oil pressure, and when oil pressure builds up to the certain spot it needs to be, it's going to, the solenoid is going to activate the higher profile lobes on your camshaft, which is going to more aggressively, it's going to control your valves more aggressively, and that's how you get that. Uh, extra little boost there. It's how you get the more fuel and it you get that cool little sound. That's how it does that. So that's the really brief explanation. But like I said in the other video, which there should be up right now a annotation link or a link down in the video description for that video so you can go check that out. So it won't be up the day the link annotation and video description link won't be up the day that this goes up, but it will be up within a week or so. So that's pretty much all I have today. Hopefully now you know how to locate your VTEC solenoid, which will tell you whether or not you do have VTEC. And um, I'm glad to enrich you guys and uh, uh, thank everyone for watching. And I'll see you next time. Well, guys, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. And fortunately, you can catch me again right here on Facebook tomorrow on my next video. Just don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave lots of comments down below. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching, and see you tomorrow right here on Facebook.